biggest change in the postal uh, service in terms of mail was, was people paid bills online and not in the mail. That had a big negative effect from a revenue perspective. We had a substantial drop off in mail volume over 30%, but at the same time, we were able to uh, work with a lot of e-commerce providers and starting in about 2010 and 2011, we were really able to start growing that volume. The key is going to be, again, flexibility and working with the customers going forward. Uh, the whole world of grocery delivery, we just started into that. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Delivery and logistics is probably one of the most complex and interesting uh, fields right now in uh, the entire uh, U.S. economy. When you take a look at what's happened from a standpoint of companies that were in the catalog business and packages being delivered back in the olden days to what you see today, uh, there have been astounding changes. It used to be a field that was, to a large extent, controlled by UPS, FedEx, and Postal Service, but now with Amazon, a company that actually can provide uh, a whole array of, of uh, value stream all the way from origin to destination, that's made a big, big change in the industry. As the internet becomes more and more a part of people's everyday uh, life, using the mail to get people to look at things, advertisements, notices, everybody has a spam filter on their computer. Nobody looks at their spam, nobody responds because it's dangerous, could ruin your computer. But everybody looks at their mail every day. They may not act on everything, but they look at it. And when you start teaming up, uh, volume of mail and targeted advertisement, targeted messages with what people look at on the internet, what they're buying through e-commerce, there is plenty of big opportunity and power left in the mail. And that's just one of many opportunities they've got going into the future. Stamps are actually um, approved by what's called the Citizen Stamp Advisory Committee. Uh, the way it works is we get all kind of recommendations. There's like 20,000 a year. And this group of people uh, sort through all these recommendations and they always try to figure out what's something that represents the best of America. You know, people, culture, events, those types of things. And then they put together recommendations. And generally they'll go a couple years in advance and make these recommendations. And my job as a Postmaster General was pretty much to sign off on them and every once in a while I'll get to dedicate one that I find interesting. Thank you.